A crowded leaderboard after round one at the John Deere Classic has players vying to make the cut on Friday. Welcome to PGA Tour Today, presented by World MasterCard. There's a strong field competing for position as they head into the weekend at TPC Deer Run. Hi, I'm Wynn McMurray. JJ Henry was able to go low Thursday during his opening round and enters Friday six under par and on page one of the leaderboard. The 2006 Travelers Championship winner has just one top ten this season, a runner-up finish at the Mayakoba Golf Classic. But he's played on the weekend in 14 of 19 starts this year. This week, Henry's looking not only for another weekend tee time, but another trophy. You know, I, I felt like uh, starting the year I was looking forward to playing and still have a half a year left. And for the most part, you know, again, I've been pretty consistent. It'd be nice just to kind of jump up that leaderboard a little more often and obviously doing something like I did today hopefully should give me a little momentum and, and look forward to playing in the next three days. Spencer Levine hasn't been the picture of consistency this year, but he has put up some impressive numbers in recent weeks. The PGA Tour rookie has missed six of his last eight cuts, but in his most recent start at the Travelers Championship, Levine carded opening rounds of 64, 69, 67 to get into contention before a final round 72 on Sunday dropped him into a tie for 34. But the 25-year-old has finished inside the top 15 twice this season at Pebble Beach and the Verizon Heritage. From a young gun to a grizzled veteran, Lee Jansen also worked his way onto page one of the leaderboard entering Friday's second round. The two-time U.S. Open champion and players champion chipped in for birdie Thursday here on the par 4 14. Jansen's best finish this year was a tie for fourth at the Verizon Heritage. Zach Johnson, Lucas Glover, Davis Love III, and Charles Warren are among the players competing in this week's tournament who took a flight Thursday night after their first round down to South Carolina to be with Jonathan Bird, the 2007 champion of the John Deere Classic, whose father lost his battle with cancer earlier in the week. You know when one of your peers, one of your brothers if you will, on uh, you know, this family train that we call the PGA Tour has issues, needs some support, you gotta go. And um, I, I'm just fortunate very lucky to have tea times I have so we made it possible we got about uh, nine of us going down there and um, you know we're gonna I can't wait to see him. With more news from the course we go to Brett Wright of the PGA Tour Network who's following the action inside the ropes this week. Thanks Win. First round conditions were great here at the John Deere Classic. The TPC Deer Run Golf Course drained all the water from Wednesday. Fairways starting to run out a little bit and the greens were very fast considering all the moisture they had absorbed over Wednesday's Pro-Am segment. Spencer Levine got out to a hot start today with birdies on his first five holes. Only one par on his front side, the back nine here. He shot six under 30 and the rookie First team All-American from New Mexico State finds himself near the top of the leaderboard. J.J. Henry, one of the fan favorites, also got in the house early. Look for players who hit the ball a long way to have less of an advantage as these fairways dry out and start to roll out. And the greens, well, the best putters are the ones who are going to judge these greens because you can't be too aggressive or take too aggressive a line as they continue to get harder and faster here at TPC Deer Run. So tune in to the PGA Tour Network, 12 o'clock noon for live second round coverage of the John Deere Classic, or listen online at PGATour.com. Thanks, Brett. For more second round action, tune in to the Golf Channel from 3 to 6 p.m. Eastern.